Hey guys, welcome to another transfer roundup video. I'm sure we can all agree this transfer window has been pretty insane and it doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Three big moves have happened over the last few days. And actually today, something crazy happened that I just was not expecting to see. And that is going to be the first story of today. That is James Rodriguez has gone to Bayern Munich. He's going on loan for two seasons from Real Madrid. And there will be an option to buy in 2019 for 32 million euros, which is, in my opinion, an absolute bargain. James still has so much to give. I think at Real Madrid, it just hasn't worked. He's been playing out of, out of position, and I don't think that it was necessarily the right timing, if that makes sense. It feels like if he had joined five years ago, or maybe in five years, it would have been better if he was aged differently. I, I guess it doesn't really make sense unless you're in my head. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, is he's joined Madrid in the wrong era. They've got so many great players in his positions. It's just so difficult for him to slot in. So going to Bayern, linking up with Ancelotti, of course, who apparently James was his number one priority this season. He's got his man. He's got James Rodriguez on loan for two years. Now, I believe the loan fee is four and a half million per season. Four and a half million per season. It's quite a lot of money, that. But of course, the option to buy is pretty low, only 32 million, and Real Madrid signed him for a lot more than that, so they're making a big loss on James, but of course, they won't be paying his wages now, and it might be that he doesn't play very well at Bayern, and they don't take that option to buy, and they don't buy him in 2019, so Real Madrid will just get him back, so it's a bit of an interesting one, because I feel like James Rodriguez also doesn't quite fit in with the, the style of play Bayern have at the moment, so clearly there's going to be some reconfiguration of their squad but it is official James is now a Bayern Munich player and I'm really really excited to see how he gets on because as I said a moment ago I still think he's got so much to give he's got a lot of potential he could still be one of the best players in the world if you ask me it just needs to be it needs to happen in the right team and maybe Bayern is the right team for him now moving on I'm sure you saw this one coming it has been talked about so much over the last few days and it is official now. I believe Man United confirmed it yesterday. So I might be a little bit late with this video. But I did career mode instead yesterday. Lukaku. It is over. The rumours can finally stop. He is joining Manchester United for £75 million. £75 million. I mean, to think Jose sold him from Chelsea for 24 Something like that. And now he's rebuying him at Manchester United for 75 And apparently there is, there's lots of clauses in the contract. That fee could rise to well over a hundred million over the next few seasons. Money is, <laughs> money's mad right now in football. It really is. Lukaku, don't get me wrong, really, really good player. Premier League proven, still young. He's physically huge. He's, he's a really, you know, he's a big threat in the air. He's great with his feet as well. A few people don't think he's so good at, you know, work rates in particular. He's a bit lazy. Uh, his first touch can be a little bit dodgy. And the fact that he doesn't seem to score against the big teams very often. But, I mean, it's still, it's Romelu Lukaku. There's no doubt in my mind that he could go on to big things at Manchester United. He's joined potentially the biggest club of all time, along with, you know, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern, whatever. But I feel like, do you know, it's, it's interesting. I still thought pretty much yesterday before it was fully announced that he would still go to Chelsea. And apparently... As the deal was accepted by Manchester United, Chelsea then jumped in with their own offer and matched the uh, the same bid that Manchester United made. Um, but for whatever reason, he has gone to Manchester United. I'm guessing he fancied himself to kind of replace Ibra and uh, maybe he feels like if he went to Chelsea, it's not quite right for him. Maybe he didn't want to play in that 3-4-3 setup, which I think could suit him quite well. But it is official. He is going to Manchester United. He will be wearing the number nine shirt He's already asked uh, Ibrahimovic if he can use that shirt number. Not that I think it matters anyway, because Ibrahimovic is probably going to be let go anyway. So, uh, interesting one. It's a lot of money, but Manchester United just got that little bit better. And also, guys, this of course means Manchester United have let Rooney go. Finally, it has happened. It's been a long time coming. There was so, so many periods where it looked like Rooney was going to be sold to a different team. At one point, he pretty much forced a move out, but he stayed. But now, at the prime age of, what is he, 33, 32 now? Something like that. Maybe I've got that wrong. Maybe he's a bit younger. But still, everyone, I think, I think we can all agree that Rooney isn't quite as good as he used to be. He's a legend. Don't get me wrong. He's a Manchester United and England legend. 
but he's not good enough to be in that Manchester United side. And it happens to players. There are some players that will age 35, 36, and they're still really, really good and playing at their prime, but some players just don't have that. And for me, Rooney falls into that category, but he might blow us all away. Joining up with Everton, his uh, his boyhood, boyhood club, is he gonna hit the ground running and suddenly become, you know, a miss for Manchester United? I don't see that happening. I don't even think Rooney's gonna get into that first team straight away. I mean, with Klaassen coming in at Cam, with Ross Barkley as well, I don't see Rooney really playing up front. It doesn't quite make sense. And apparently, they're looking to buy Giroud right now or Benteke. So if Giroud doesn't join, they're gonna go for Benteke. So to me, Rooney, it feels like it's a bit of a squad player and you know someone to have in the dressing room because that is a key part of football these days if you don't have a really you know gelling squad that you know play well together it doesn't matter what players you've got they've got to gel as a team and i think rooney he will come in and you know the fact that he's he's an everton born lad he's gonna he's gonna feel very welcomed by the fans you know he's back after however many years and he's gonna be great for the dressing room so Everton have done really well this summer they really have and I don't think they're stopping there they've got some fantastic signings already and Rooney is I still think a good it's, it's a good it's a good signing for them I don't know how he's gonna get into the team though maybe he does play at cam maybe he plays in center midfield who knows but for me, he's just, he's going to be adding more off the pitch than he is on the pitch, if that makes sense. Now, talking of Giroud just a second ago, linked with Everton, Arsene Wenger has said today that he thinks he will be staying at Arsenal. I don't know if I believe it. Personally, I almost feel like Arsenal are relying on other signings, potentially Lamar. Um, if Lamar is going to be coming, then we are going to be selling Giroud. That's, I think, what's going on. I need to look into this a little bit more. Maybe I can talk about it more in the next transfer roundup video. But for now, it does look like he is going to be, he's going to be potentially going to Everton. And I don't know how I feel about it because Giroud, he's had some great moments at Arsenal. You know, he joined in a time where we weren't splashing cash and he came in as almost, I don't want to say a bit of an unknown. He was the French league top scorer, wasn't he, with Montpellier. So he was definitely known, but he wasn't, you know, a 50 million striker or in these days, 80, 75 million like Lukaku. So I, I really hope that this doesn't happen. I'm hoping that Wenger is going to keep Giroud. I think we should be keeping him, even if he's not going to be a first team player, especially with Lacazette coming in. But you need these types of players like Giroud who can come on, make an impact and also play when other players are tired. Squad players, it's as simple as that. So I'm really hopeful he's going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I'm really hopeful he's going to stay. But if he does go to Everton, it wouldn't be a bad move. I think he could do really well there. Um, but I would be a bit sad. I will never forget that Scorpion kick. I will never forget that West Ham control and pretty much toe poke. It, oh, it was such a nice goal. I think Giroud is just one of those players. You, you won't know how much you'll miss him until he's actually gone. He has been great for Arsenal. So we'll keep our eyes on that. But for now, guys, that is going to be the end of this transfer, transfer roundup video. Some big signings going through and I'm sure there are plenty more to come around the corner. So make sure you're subscribed and I will see you next time.